Welcome. We're going to be drawing two point perspective cubes today. So pay attention to the video. You're going to draw a horizon line, which is also known as your eye level. You're going to draw two vanishing points on the far left side and the far right side. You're going to start off by drawing vertical lines for the corners. Then you're going to draw lines to the vanishing points. You're going to complete um, the side walls by adding in some vertical lines, and then you're going to learn about the crisscross rule to complete the uh, cubes. So good luck drawing two-point perspective cubes. Hello! Today we are going to draw two-point perspective cubes, or boxes, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to start off with a, a horizontal line. This is known as your horizon line. I'm going to kind of draw it lightly to start off. Next, I'm going to draw a vanishing point on the horizon line and another vanishing point on the horizon line. So one on either end. We're going to draw a cube above, through, and below. So I'm going to start off with a vertical line here, a vertical line here, and a vertical line here. Okay. So, we have always start off with your horizon line, get your two vanishing points, and start off with vertical lines. Then the next step for all these is you're going to put your pencil down on the vanishing point, and you're going to draw to the top and bottom of each line. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for all boxes. So much easier if you put your pencil down on the dot or the vanishing point or you could put it in this case over here so on this side we're going to draw to the left vanishing point so from the top and bottom of the lines Fix that line. Slipped. Okay, so step one, horizon line. Step two, vanishing points. Step three, vertical lines. So we're going to look at the corner view of the box. So as you can kind of tell, right, where the horizon line is, it's going to be more of a street level view. Now it looks like we're looking down. Down here is going to be the bird's eye view as if we're looking down. And then up there is going to look like the worm's eye view. You can kind of see it already. All right, so the next step that we do is we continue with vertical lines. And it's really up to you. So on this one, I'm going to draw a vertical line on the left side and a vertical line on the right side. This one, I'm going to draw a vertical line on the left side and a vertical line on the right side. And then on this one, I'm going to draw a vertical line on the left side and a vertical line on the right side. So keep those straight up and down. So this cube is done right here in the middle. Because when you look at something kind of straight on, think about the horizon line as your eye level. That's where you're looking at something. So it's kind of like you're looking at something straight on. So you're not going to be able to see the top or the bottom of the cube. You're not going to be able to see the top or the bottom of the cube. Okay. So now here's the trick. What we're going to do now is we're going to complete this uh, worm's eye view box. So, so we're, I call this the crisscross rule. So on the opposite corner, you're going to draw to the opposite vanishing point. So on this corner right here, so we're going to criss and we're going to cross. So that completes this cube right here. So you can see this cube. So if you're at the right corner, draw to the left vanishing point. In your left corner, you draw to the right vanishing point. Okay, so there's that cube right there for you. Now, so right here, this is going to be the top. So this is the um, bird's eye view. So we're looking down. So from this corner, we're going to draw to the opposite vanishing point. And then in this corner, we're going to draw, we're going to crisscross those lines. Okay, so what do we have here? We have 
three different viewpoints. So we start off with the horizon line. We put our two vanishing points down. This is the corner view when you work with two point perspective. You start off with the corner, which is a vertical line, right? Then you draw the left and right, left and right, two lines to the vanishing points. Then you complete with vertical lines, right? And then you do the crisscross rule, crisscross rule, right? So there you go. Those are strategies on how to draw two point perspective cubes or boxes, whichever way that you want to call it. Have a great day. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you learned a lot about two point perspective cubes. Remember, keep on drawing and do something good. Have a great day.